Now, basically what we have here is a very thick walled glass jar where it sits comfortably on a metal platform that's sealed and there's a hole in the middle of that platform. That's where uh, that is connected to a vacuum pump. So we're going to remove the air from inside the container. If we put a balloon inside there, it will therefore be subjected to less pressure. So pressure goes down, what does Boyle's Law tell us? Vol volume goes up. Yeah, uh, Bob's a little concerned because he can see some of the other balloons haven't been as... <laughs> <laughs> oh, the humanity. Oh. All right, we'll have to have Bob, too. No. Uh, <laughs> all the base. All another day. Get a marker. There you go. He's a puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Jim. <laughs> you guys want to see his face when he dies? <laughs> oh. Bunch of sadists. All right, anyway. Anything that says Harry? No, I don't. I don't know. I, don't, I can't speak. <laughs> I'm a. Uh, all right, all right. We'll just pretend that's Bob. It's Bob no longer with us. This is in memory of you, Bob. Wait, Rocky, I don't know. There was an incident. <laughs> I don't know. Bob. All right. I plug this in, and we'll see Bob. Where Bob 2 is starting to expand, the pressure's going down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, going, okay, it's getting larger and larger. Will it survive? I don't know. Sometimes they do. If it explodes, though, it makes a deafening noise. Am I right or wrong? Right. Right. No, it's a vacuum. It just kind of. And that's the end of Bob. Oh, that's Bob. 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 That's Bob. Jerry. Jerry. Yeah. All right, all right. We can pretend. No, no. Now, can we bring the pressure down? All right. Well, yes. Now we'll unplug this. Okay. Now it'd be very difficult for me to lift this off right now because I not only be I'd be fighting the atmospheric pressure. So listen carefully as I unscrew this little uh, thing down here. Ready? What are you hearing? Ready? Wait. What was that? Yes, that's the air going where? Out. No, back in. That's right, Ron. Back in. It's coming back in. Now, now we can lift this off. See? And look at the shrapnel. You still had to go out. You just pulled it straight off. Yeah, I could have. It's just easier to do it with a twist. Because it's got this look like Lubra Seal stuff on it, which is disgusting, actually. Stuff. But it seals it up so you, so you, get, you can maintain a vacuum. It's not really a full vacuum. Okay, so that's that's an example of Boyle's law in action. All right. Uh, let's talk a look at Charles' law, and we'll look at a couple of demonstrations on that. Oh yeah, it's the Mall of America. They have like spend ten minutes in every store and take you like. They have the most lakes. They've got a whole roller coaster in that sucker. <laughs> Don't like roller coasters? Olga will take you. Let's see what happens. Down she goes. Or she stops. Nobody. Is it getting bigger? Yes. Does anyone see Olga getting larger? Yes. All right. Some of us said yes. Some of us. Uh, <laughs> refuse to admit this. Is she larger now? Yeah. Is she bigger? Is she twice the size? Will she pop? No, not is, yet. Is my hand warm? Yeah. Yes, very much so. <laughs> now let's pull her out and have a look. Will she shrink? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I can't. Please. <laughs> She's Norwegian. Please respond like yeah. Can we freeze them? Well, we could. What would happen if we froze her? She drank. Okay. <laughs> I don't have. A freezing water bag. I do it at work. You put her in that thing. I just take bones. Put her in what thing? A blower up? Yeah. Would that please you? <laughs> <laughs> to see another one die. Oh! Oh, the humanity. Another one down. Oh, my gosh. Why you get that down? Well, first he unplugged it. I think I'll just reach my hand right in there. Now, the wise chem teacher, pick it out. 
with Maybe. a pair of tongs. Or you wait till what it cools. What if that, you drop that and it school. just breaks there and stuff? Yeah. All right, guys. Very good. Yeah. All right. I have, all right. Tell me more about this later. I want to tell you some stupid messed up. Anyway, um, here we have fire. Here we yeah. have a bag. I'm going to put the bag over the fire. Now, notice that the bag is filling with air. Yes. The air is expanding. Charles Law would notice. If I let go, the bag floats away. Yeah. It lands over the fire. All right, I expect fire. <laughs> now, however, I like it. All right. See, we launch. What if it lets on fire? <laughs> so, it's a it's a fluorescent tube. You don't get that. I don't care. I was the one to have it. I like the bag on fire. That's right. You're reason number two. Uh, you started reason. reason. All right. Yes. Anyway, uh, that's how hot air balloons work. Anybody ever seen?